Hey guys, it's Grant Balfour here, ex-pitcher of the Tampa Bay Rays, Oakland Athletics, Minnesota Twins, Milwaukee Brewers, Cincinnati Reds. I just wanted to uh, say you're watching Matty C Sports for You and Me podcast. Enjoy the show. It's got a lot. Matty's got a lot of uh, great things to talk about. Wide range of sports. Get on there. I uh, hope to see you guys soon on the show. All right, guys. Take care. On this team, we fight for itch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Coming in at 320 kilobytes per second, it's time for Maddie C's Sports for you and me. What up, everyone? Maddie C Sports for you and me. Um, of course, I only talk to the good people. I'm talking right now to Hassan Graham, a.k.a. the Bounty Hunter. What's good? Uh, heavyweight champ in Cage Titans. It's not am, it's I am heavyweight champ. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> So how are you doing tonight, man? Man, I'm good, man. You know, got a little bit of training in tonight after work. Feeling good, you know, still fixing to some, putting some things together, getting ready. Last minute, you know. Yeah, and um, yeah, you did pretty well. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it for the last one. And I know we were talking before. Oh, um, yeah. And you were saying... I, I said, uh, oh, I'm not making this one. I was like, yep. And you said, yep, uh, you missed your chance on the yams and Mac. It's Yeah, that, oh, that's, you bring the food for that one. I know. And that's like why I was so mad about it because I'm like, he's never going to make this for me again. He's going to think I'm never coming back. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't, I didn't make that. That's That's not my specialty. But there's a few good spots out here that make it. And my, my mom make it pretty good, too. So, you know. We're going to try to get it done this time. But, man, Jeff, that boy's tough. Mm. That, well, that's not a boy. That grown man is tough. And it went to split decision, and I was I was, um, was not there for that one, but I had some inside scoops, and yeah. they said it was a well-rounded fight. And I said, so Hassan had a, a good little fight there. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, he – you you went to decision so um how was that one compared to to eric's fight i mean we all know the results with quick I mean, quick uh 32 seconds <laughs> you really can't compare those two because of the 32 seconds you know mm -hmm. uh like i said eric comes out of a good gym who knows where that fight could have went if it would have went the distance or just a little longer he came out with some good kicks and you know and he just got caught and that's part of the game, especially with the heavyweights. One hit could change everything. Uh, but Jeff, you know, I took that fight for a reason. His history was he has a great chin. He has a great chin. That was his history. So going into that fight, of course, I wanted to knock him out. That was the plan, to knock his ass out. But we knew he had a great chin, so we had to dig deep and, and fight. So always said it, I want to test myself with the best early in the amateur rinks to learn. That's what amateur is for. You learn, you get that experience. Win, lose, or draw, I'm going to go out there and put on the show, and I'm a bang. And, um, of course, we expect fireworks July 2nd. I mean, how do you feel with, like, just a, 
just what this is going to happen. This is going to pack the house. You know that. It's 4th of July weekend, so people are going to want to party. So why not party and watch some MMA at the same time? And, I mean, you, you're going for your second title defense. First title defense. Oh, so, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm looking yeah. at your third fight. Your third, yeah. <laughs> second title. First title defense, Um, you know, and because you come in as the champ, you know, you actually, some people might give you the favorite, some people might not. But this is no different. This is a regular fight for me. I'm going to go in here and do my thing. Um, everyone knows already I like to strike. So it's either they're going to bang with me or they're going to try to grapple me to death. I got the grappling in me. I, I'm touching it up. I'm working on it even more. So, you know, we're going to see where this fight go. Uh, I don't know much about him. I just know he's 1-0. Big dude, comes from a good gym. But I'm up for the challenge, man. Let's, let's get it. Action Jack was the bounty hunter, so we'll see. Oh, Action Jack. That's that's interesting, you know, but yeah. bounty, bounty hunter's coming, so if we you coming got that to, nickname. We're coming to collect. It's a bounty on his head. He knows it. Yeah, and I mean, like, he's got the, he's got, the, he's just got that look like a, like a sheriff look. <laughs> He's got the grown mustache, and he looks like he's ready to go, man, like a action. I mean, anybody that step in that cage, you know, they're ready to go. It's just you got to dig deep. You just got to dig deep and go. Who's going to dig deeper? Who's going, you know? I respect everybody that step in the cage, but once you step in the cage, it's time to be disrespectful. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, when you came out, are you coming out limo again? Yeah, we're trying to put that together. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. You know, I like to I like to pull up how I pull up. Might pull up in that. I'm working on something else. Might get a Lambo. We don't know yet. We're trying to see how we're gonna do it. I gotta pull yeah. up big boy status. I got the belt this time with me. Oh man. You got the the best ride-ups in the game right now at Cage Titan. I'm, I'm not, listen, you got to put on a show all around. Yeah, and you you do, and for for a heavyweight, you can get in that in that octagon pretty fucking quick, man. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, I'm a I'm a big boy, but I can move when I have to. You know, I might fucking around and cut weight, go down to a light heavyweight one day. Well, you, I think you of all people could because you quick. I mean, that's a different world down there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm still having fun. Like I said, I, mm. I'm fun until it's not fun anymore. But we having fun still. Heavyweight is fun. Um, and you know, hopefully July second. I want fireworks. I'm gonna bring them. Hopefully he bring them. Well, I've only heard. So I've interviewed you. That's one. I got. Two people that have other people that have told me they're gonna bring fireworks. I'm not gonna say who yet, but there's some people ready to bring the multiple fireworks to the auditorium or Memorial oh. Hall. Excuse me. Shit, we might set that motherfucker on fire then. Uh, sorry, I don't know if I could curse. So we might set it on fire then. Yeah, you can swear. I, I do it all the time. It's no big deal. Uh, you should see the boxes I have on my show. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so training's just a regular deal. And I mean, have you gone harder? Cause you, you feel like, you know, this defense means more now that you have the belt and you're like, listen, I don't want nobody to take my shit whatsoever. I mean, training, training is still, we still going hard, you know, um, for me, a lot of people always say my cardio, my cardio, my cardio, but I, I just get tired. That's just a thing. But. I'm not stopping. Even when I'm tired, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep digging and keep coming. So this camp has been heavy cardio. Um, we're, working on, we're working on everything, man. We're working on everything. Grappling, striking, all around MMA. We're getting the job done. Yeah, it's, it's – I always say that the card is stacked, and it usually is, but I cannot say this is the best card ever. Mike Paul Vare told me, 
nothing is going to be the best card ever. There's always going to be a next one. I said, Mike, but they're always stacked. You always know how to make it work. Oh, like yeah. Bringing people in. Mike's that guy. Yeah, he's he's one of the best people, like promoters I have ever met. He's a wicked good guy. He looks out for the fighters. He looks out for the vendor. Looks Abby. out for the, yeah, looks out for me. I mean, it's it's great having him as a as a person I, in your corner. I said it. I said it when I first came to Case and that's my first fight. That's gonna be my home. I'm gonna go pro there. I'm gonna finish after this amateur fight. Win, lose, a draw. Win. I'm a GoPro. I mean, it, it, it's nothing more to it. Amateur, I'm having fun down there. But it's time to make a little bit of money and level up. So so you're saying that we'll probably be good friends after after you make some pro stuff and then get into some good stuff going. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Cage Titan's gonna be my spot, man. That's every time I come out there, they take care of me. It's always a smooth process, paperwork, everything else. Everything is always smooth. I wish they was a little closer. <laughs> That's about it. I know, I know. It, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna be. That's gonna be my home. And you know, how is it out in Springfield? Like, is there? I think I was wanted to ask you that. Is there a lot of like gyms that train MMA around that area? Um. So we got GNP. Um, Jason, that's the Grizzly spot. We got mm-hmm. Underground and May, where Ali's from. I know you know Ali. He's fought in the case Titan a few times. VIP. Mm-hmm. So we got Underground MMA. And then the spot I train at, Chapman's House of Pain. Uh, other than that, oh, Team Link and FAA. I'm tripping. Yeah, so we got some big names. Team Link, FAA. So, yeah, we got a, a few good spots out here. I like it. I like it. And you got some boxers out there that are serious in the game, too. Whitley's Boxing. Say that again? Whitley's Boxing and Rivera's Boxing. Yeah. And it's, a, and it's great because the Mass Mutual Center is taking over boxing with CES. Yeah. And, and um, if, it, if they could bring, like, more MMA down there, too. Like, yeah. what I... I've seen them once down there and I thought it was, it was cool, but it's like, it's so weird. Cause they don't actually go in the arena. It's like off the arena in the building. Little side, a little boxing is on that side. Also boxing and MMA. That's why I have yeah. my friend at mass mutual center. Oh, okay. Okay. It, uh, it's weird though. Right. It's like a little tiny thing. It's like, yeah. It's like, do they store like all the hockey equipment in here? Do they store the uh, NCAA basketball <laughs> stuff in here? Like, <laughs> what's the deal? I like it though. It's a small environment. I mean, wherever you sit, it's not a bad seat. The environment it's, it's loud. It's, it's nice. Like I said, I mean, compared to you, I mean, you're driving a long way just to get here. It's tiring in its own. How, do you like stay a couple nights before? All right, now I go out there for weigh-ins. You know, you get out there for weigh-ins. So Friday night, you get there, spend the night, Saturday, and fight Saturday night. Well, just just put the heat on, you know, to make weight if you need it. <laughs> Shit. Oh, nah, I mean, nah, nah, nah. Weight is good. I, I'm, I'm good with the weight. Man. I love it. I'm actually more than what I'm at. So I want to get lower than what I'm at. This might be the first fight I come in lighter. In the last two fights, well, good for you, man. I I, I respect that. I I've, I've talked to um, fighters that have, you know, talked about cutting weight, and to know that you you're not even doing that, that's great, man. Good to and hear. That's the great thing about being a heavyweight. If you're not making weight at heavyweight, that's kind of shit. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> what to tell you? Oh man. Um. So what what is it you take from from this guy, Jack, right here? I, I don't know much about him. I mean, is there any studying you've done yourself? I mean, he only has one fight. Uh, I know he comes from a good camp from uh, Jackson Wink. He comes from that camp and another one. He trains at another school also. I mean, like I said, everybody that's stepped in that cage got some type of fight in them. Yeah. So 
respect everyone that steps in there. But once we in there, it's time to be disrespectful. And that's all that's to it. It's good when you're disrespectful because them oh, hands yeah. start sliding. Your hands are like a – I like a light heavyweight. You're just – oh, yeah. God, it's crazy. See, that's the thing. Everybody know I got the hands. So, you know, I, I, got, a, I got a whole arsenal. It's just – no one has dug it out of me yet. So I'm still waiting for someone to dig that arsenal out of me and we'll see what happens. Well, it's funny. So this is another question I had. So after your fight, I think it was the last one, you're like, Brooklyn, what's up? And then I was like, all right. So I thought you'd say Springfield too. So, yeah. you know, is, is Brooklyn just definitely your home? Uh, so I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, but I moved out to Springfield. So if you watch my first fight, I said, Brooklyn, we here. Springfield, we here. So I always shout out both cities. You know, Brooklyn is Brooklyn is gotcha. home. Brooklyn is home. And Springfield is also home. So I represent both. So, so you like the Yankees? Of course. Why you got to – well, you got to wear a Yankees hat to, to it, man. We'll, we'll see what happened. I'm, I actually got a creation that I'm putting together right now. Um, okay. Work, I'm working on something dope. Once I put it together, everybody's going to be able to see it. Okay, okay. See, that, that's, a, that's, a fighting, that's a fighting area itself, man. The New York area, I mean, boxing is rampant in New York. And yeah. I don't know the MMA scene. Uh, is the MMA, MMA scene pretty big out there? So the MMA scene out there is all amateurs. So that's the thing. Oh, it's like okay. Amateur fights. A lot of those guys don't go pro. They don't have pro in New York or whatever the issue is. Um, but that's my goal, man. I definitely want to take a fight out in my city. Um, I definitely want to do that. I was trying to get that done. Excuse me. I was trying to get that done a few months ago. But... You know the MMA game when when I'm reaching out all the way out there, they don't understand I'm originally from there. They think I'm coming from out here, so they're trying to set set me up with crazy fights. Like they try to set me up with an amateur that was fucking thirteen and four. I'm like, why is this guy not a pro yet? Um, I almost took the fight just because I'm a dog. It doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. So I almost took the fight, but. You just, you just got to be smart sometimes. So I was just like, you know what? I'm all set. True. I mean, like the way you fight now, imagine you're, you know, at a higher record and then come fight that. He's probably 13 and 18 by that time. Right. You know, you, you come out and fight that dude and it's just take for you, you know, like, but you do it now and it's like you're in danger of, you know, something with your career. Yeah, you just got to be sometimes. But as PD, P. Diddy says, we ain't going nowhere. We so. ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Are you do, With your intros, like you coming out, are you going to come out with, with like a New York intro? I mean, every time I pick a song, man. I think my, my first song I walked out to was Casanova. Then my second song was Jay-Z. Um, picking us. Oh, that's one of the hardest things, honestly. Picking a song. That's one of the hardest things. That's one of the hardest things. Because at first, I was like, "Shit, I gotta pick a song for the crowd to get the crowd hype." That was my thought. And then I said, "Fuck it, these hands gonna get the crowd hype. I gotta pick a song for me." So right now, I'm picking songs for me, man. It's definitely gonna be New York. It's always gonna be a New York artist or just a dope artist in general. Um. We, I still ain't even pick a song for this walkout. I honestly really pick my song at the last minute. I I could name a lot of New York songs, and you I know you could too. I know you could too. <laughs> a lot it's of it's like, do I go Wu Tang today? Do I go? Do I want to go into Wu Tang and go Raekwon, or do I want to go Nas today? Jay Z, like it's many. crazy. It's so many, man. The thing about Jay Z. Jay-Z is smooth. Like, he don't really got no hype, hype. You got to sit and think about Jay-Z. Jay-Z is some shit you listen to 
smoking a cigar and like, yo, he's he talking that shit. So it's hard to walk out to Jay-Z. Um, this one, and that's another thing with Cage Titans, you can't pick a song with curses. Ah. So, yeah. So it's like the song I want to come out to is 50 Cent, I Smell Pussy. I think that song would be fire to walk out to. Wasn't that G-Unit? 50 Cent, G-Unit, same shit. No, I know, I know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the song I want to walk out to. Um, I might submit it, see if I can get it. If if not that one, we got some other ones in mind. Well, the unknown Dead Presidents 2, Jay-Z. That would be, that, that would be the silent killer. Because you're the bounty hunter. You got to be the silent killer, too. <laughs> Bro, that one. Oh, that'd be fire. That'd be fire. I, so, yeah. <laughs> if like, I know that if that comes out at, at the at the fight, I know you dedicated that to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. So, you know, I, I know that this is a big fight for you for a title defense. Um, is there anything like you expect different in this one? Is there anything um, you want to switch up? Like, man, we ain't switching nothing up. We going out there to bang plain and simple. Um, you hit me, I hit you. Let's see where we go. Uh, I feel like a lot of people know the blueprint on me. They, they going to try to grapple with me. They're going to try to, they going to try to push it to the third and fourth round. Cause it looked like I get tired. Uh, I think I think uh, Jack is gonna. I don't know. I think he's gonna come out banging, but I also think he's gonna play it smart. He's gonna play it real smart. He ain't just gonna come out swinging all wild and whatnot. He's gonna play it smart. So this this might be this might be a chess match. Who knows? Might be a knockout first round, second round. I'm down for whatever. I like dog fights. So we can we can fucking have a dog fight. But one thing I noticed in my first in my three fights so far, I haven't seen a lot of blood. And I'm ready to get somebody bloody, man. I just want to see a lot of blood on someone's face. And I haven't got that yet. So that's the plan for this fight. I just want to see blood. I want his blood on my hands. That's what well, I really what want. I mean, with Jeff, like, we, you know, you guys went to, to the, you went to the decision and all that, but honestly, like, I don't, you say you got tired of, like, you usually get tired in the fourth round. Yeah. So, like, I didn't see that until the first half of the last round, the last fight. That's what I saw. So, I mean, I, I, mean, I think you went above in your, your um you know prediction i mean you were the one that was in there so i don't know if you were tired at the fourth round i that. mean no that's what i was just hearing you know that's what i was just hearing like he, i was tired so people it might be the way i change things up or whatever the case may be i'm not sure yet we gotta we gotta see you don't understand this is only my third fight i only been training for a year i've been fighting more than i've been training i only been training for a year I, i'm just getting started like just getting started. I have so much to grow. I have so much, so much more growth to do. So it's gonna be a good fight, man. It it's, is it's gonna, yeah. And and the thing about that fight, honestly, I'm trying to get him the fuck out of there in the first round. Cause it's a big UFC card on that night, man. I yes, there is. Yes, yes there, there is. is. So I'm trying to get his ass out of there early. And just go in the back and watch that watch that card. Well, I know I know it's a big thing for you, and you know, I don't know much honestly about Jack Burke. Um, it's hard to decide. It's hard to decipher when he's only got one win. And you got to look in the you know the dungeon of the internet to find his his uh, his fight. Mm -hmm. But um. You know, I, I do wish you luck in this fight, for real. Uh, you've been very good on being on my show, and I always respect, you know, you always coming on. And I cannot wait for my yams and Mac. It's coming. It's coming. It's We're coming. Make, 
We're gonna make it happen. We got we got on my on my Instagram, we got my my new album coming out July 2nd. It's out there. <laughs> it's premiering. It's uh my new single is called Cage Titans 54. You're gonna see me live. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. It's not a real album. I'll just be there doing some interviews, but oh, that's pretty dope. <laughs> but I made it look like an album, so it's like pretty dope. But um, so yeah, I mean, do you have any like merch or anything coming out for this fight? Or yeah, I got shirts actually. I, I made shirts. I'll send you a picture. You'll be the first one to see it. I got you. You can post it, whatever it may be. Um, I'll send you a picture of it. I got merch coming out. I had an idea of what I wanted and I got, I got one shirt made and then I had a better idea. So I'm not going to put that merch out yet. I'm going to hold on to it. Um, and the, the new one, the new one is when I'm going to start putting it out there. Nice. I, I respect that. And it's going to, all the good fighters get the dopest shit or yeah. they, they get their shit ready to go. So I can't wait, man. So um, I'm actually going to be rocking the shirt I got made. I'm actually going to be rocking it the night of the fight. I'm going to walk out with that shirt on. But that's not going to be my um, merch. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch it up. Well, always, always the fighter has to be more different than the fan. So you have to have the exclusive thing. And everybody else is like, you're my fans, but this is my shit. Like my right. personal shirt. Like you can't have this. For sure. That's what we, it's in the works, man. Like I said, I'm, I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. The game is still new to me. The game is still fresh to me. So I'm, I'm putting things together. You know, it's hard when you got a full-time job also. So I work full time. So putting everything together, you know, taking care of responsibilities outside the cage, outside of training, but everything is coming. We putting everything together. We're making big moves, man. Well, Thank you, Mr. Hassan Graham, a.k.a. The Bounty Hunter. Um, I can't wait for July 2nd to see you fight, especially, and everybody else that's been on my side on my show. I always say y'all are family. Um, where can they follow you? Oh, BK Highs on Instagram or Hassan Graham. Look me up on Instagram. Also, Facebook, Hassan Graham. Love it. and. Again, July 2nd, um, if you don't know, now you know. It's going to be the dopest thing, July, 4th of July weekend. And what did Mike say it was? Oh, America, America's first find, uh, first home. It's a little, little tiny rock like this big that shows where the pilgrims landed in America, whatever the hell. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, thank you, Mike. And Mike, geez, I got to cut. <laughs> thank you, Hassan, a.k.a. Bounty Hunter Graham. Um, this is Maddie C Sports, and uh, thank you, everybody. The champ is here, Brooklyn, Springfield. Brooklyn. You know where it's at. You already know. We in the building. Yeah, and you're going to hear that in the building because he's going to yell that shit. So, oh, sure. So, Maddie sure. C Sports, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching Matty C's Sports for you and me. Make sure to follow Matty Cameron on Twitter at MattCameron23 or follow him on Instagram at MattyC23 or subscribe to his YouTube channel, Matty C's Sports for you and me. Once again, thanks for watching. 